Hi guys, so I'm super exhausted tonight, but I wanted to do a demo because I wanted to use a bubble bar because I'm just so sore from painting. Um, I'm really sore. I've painted five rooms already and I still have some more to go. And we're moving, we're bringing over some stuff Friday, but I have to clean the house and uh, shampoo the rugs before we move in on Friday. So it's just... I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, we did reach our subscriber for limit for the giveaway. It was 33 subscribers was the number I was looking for, so we reached that. So make sure that you have me on Instagram and you find that post that talks about the giveaway. You share it and you comment on it when. If you do not comment when underneath that and you do not share it, you cannot be entered in the giveaway. So please make sure you do that because as of right now, I think there's only two people entered and if by, I'm going to say, I'll give it like a week or so because I'm moving so I don't have time to send <laughs> something out right now um, and plus I want to give you guys all a chance to go and do that so um, make sure that you do that because if when I say that the, I'll let you know later this week when the last day is, but um, when I say the last day and we get to that day, if there's still only two people that have commented when and done what I asked them to do, then those will be the only two people entered. So that's how it's going to work. So I am exhausted. I don't know where my strainer is because it's packed up somewhere. Um, so we're going to be using this this we're gonna be using this we're gonna be using this yeah I'm gonna be using my hand <laughs> I told you guys I'm exhausted this is the creamy candy bubble bar from lush it's very sweet smelling it's got I kind of I kind of get a berry scent like a sweet berry but so I'm just gonna use my hand and hold it under the faucet um this will be the last demo in this tub so when we get to the new house, I have a clawfoot tub. So I'm going to be doing demos in there. And I have like a double shower head that flings down so I can get lots of bubbles in there. So it'll be good. Um, my bathroom is almost finished. I still have to paint and put up like the hooks for my towels and the little like hooky thing for my hand towel and all that good crap so I gotta do that still <laughs> so that's not done my kitchen isn't completely finished it's just everything's a mess so let's just get started so that I can jump in this because I am so sore And there goes our flower. Ooh, that is really hot. There's a little pink on my hand. That's a little better. I put my hand under that and I was like, oh, it's too hot. I'm getting even hold my hand under. Now these little ones, I don't know. I would only use them for one bath. This one and the pop in the bath one. Especially if that's all you're using. I mean, if you're gonna, yeah, cause look how this is breaking up. I wouldn't chop this up. Cause it breaks up just fine on its own. I wouldn't be losing big pieces if I had my strainer. <laughs> but I wouldn't, I wouldn't chop this up and I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't use this for more than one bath. I mean, unless you're demoing and you only want very, very little bubbles. See, it's already gone. I have like a couple of like little tiny pieces in the bottom here, but they'll end up disintegrating. 
getting some of those chunks. What the hell? My husband left the shower like half on. Hold on guys, I'm gonna have to wipe off my screen. <laughs> my screen was covered in water. My husband like left the shower like half on. So how was everyone's day? <sighs> the house we're moving into is like an older house, so it's just, it's a lot of work. But I don't want, like, I wouldn't want a new house. Like, if I had the option to buy an older house or build a brand new house, I'd still pick the older house. I think they have, like, charm and character and they have the original woodwork that you can't get anymore. I mean, you can go to somebody and be like, oh, I want woodwork like that. It's just going to be a copy. It's not original. So, it's not, like, I want the original. <laughs> and I like the old wooden banisters which we have in this house. I just, I like older houses. Now older houses do come with some downfalls. You have to make sure, you know, whatever house you're getting is in, you know, good condition. That you don't have like rotting wood somewhere, like under the floorboards or... that there's no foundational issues and stuff like that so you know they do have some downfalls you gotta be careful when you're looking for a house because of that stuff but I mean your inspector should come in and take care of all that but it's just a lot of work and there's so much wallpaper in all the houses I'm painting over wallpaper guys I know that is not the smartest thing most people are like remove it but underneath the wallpaper is like the old like plaster walls so I mean eventually the walls will be taken down and they'll be sheetrock but we need to move so I don't have time to you know demo the whole house right now <laughs> and plus I don't think that I'd I don't know I don't know if see that kind of scares me because I'd want to keep they have the massive massive big original wood molding on the bottom and it I mean it's gorgeous and I wouldn't want to ruin that and I feel like with this house the way that it is if I were to take them out see I'm yawning if I were to take that out it would ruin it like to redo the walls some of these bubbles down. We got a nice bright pink. That's two things though that I don't want old is my bathroom and my kitchen which is why they're being remodeled. Go figure. I don't know, like I like the original wood cabinetry. Like we have we have some original cabinets in our house. And I like that stuff. It's just like your countertops and your sink and like your your appliances. They should be new. I don't want a stove from the 1930s. <laughs> We are filled. Uh, we are filled. I wish we had a little bit more bubbles. How much water is in here? Like, bubble content isn't really that. Like, compared to all other bubble wires that I've done, I don't know. This doesn't seem like a huge bubbler. Like, it, it's bubble, obviously, you see the bubbles. But usually I have, like, a huge stack of bubbles. And, like, I can't keep filling this because it'll overflow my tub when I get in. 
but usually I have like all of the tub filled with bubbles. I don't know. I don't know. Right now I really don't care either. I just want to get in this tub because I'm hurting so bad. My arms are like about to fall off. Seriously, like not even kidding. My arms hurt so bad and my hands. I know I'm whining guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm being whiny. <laughs> It's just that I've been painting and painting and painting for like two weeks. I've done five rooms and like today I went for a couple hours and I literally could barely hold the paintbrush. Like I was like shaking like this because my hands hurt so bad. It's like carpal tunnel syndrome. <laughs> we don't rent or rent. We don't hire painters because I know how to paint. Like I don't even need tape. Or any of that shit I know I just I'm very good at painting so but I'm gonna get in this tub and I will see all of you guys after the move so I love you love you <laughs> bye guys